research, somebody says, you know, is it a possibility to use um, Facebook friends um, for scientific research? Maybe we don't want the question quite that narrow, but what are some other kind of innovative ways to sort of reach, uh, reach people in, um, you know, in this kind of very online era in social science research? Um, so yeah, I think there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, so in within the context of the U.S., there's been growing amount of research that you know you're doing or conducting um, public opinion surveys on um, on Facebook is is feasible, and there's a few ways to to do it. Um, one is, of course, through your networks, right? You can post a uh, you know the link to a poll. And sort of do the so snowball sampling either through you know Facebook, but then also Twitter, um, and um, and that uh, scholars have used that in um, many cases. There's also um, another way which is a bit more sort of trying to replicate a a, a sampling procedure, which is um, done through what they call Facebook ads. And so this is a um, definitely a possibility, and um, uh, you know you can select different demographic characteristics. I think one thing to about the Facebook in particular is that it's going to vary. Sort of the ability to get a representative sample is going to vary um, by country. So, for example, I think in Jordan, which has a very high social media use. You know, 80%, some 80% of um, the population will use Facebook, whereas in Algeria, it can be as low as, as 45%. And um, as is the case with many online samples, whether in the United States or in the MENA, you, they do tend to skew a bit more urban and a bit more educated than the, the population as a whole. But yeah, um, it's definitely possible to do this and, and, and there are different ways to go about sampling through, through Facebook and social, other social media um, channels. Great, thank you, Gail. Um, so 